In a previous musing, I lambasted the D&D as an eSport idea known as RPG Sports. While I stand by what I said in that, I maintain that the problem isn't the concept, but rather the execution. Consider this a follow-up to that assessment. I gave it some thought, and I began to realize the best way to do something like this is to treat it like an actual sport. Obvious, I know, but still. By that, I mean as if every player was managing a team consisting of an adventuring party. Think of professional sports leagues, their rosters, the drafting systems, free agency, etc. I think this is a fine foundation for a proper D&D sport. This might sound like a skirmish war game, and that's not incorrect, but since they want to use RPGs for this, I have to respond in kind. Otherwise, I'd be using something like Relic Knights. First... I would not have used D&D 5th edition. Since it's assumed that each player is managing a team, highly customizable characters would make things too messy, even the minuscule amount of customization that 5th edition has. Instead, I'd use Heroes Against Darkness, Dungeon Slayers, or the Cortex Plus system. Given the arena fighting feats that were introduced in D&D 4th edition, that's also a possibility. The key is to not have extremely high amounts of customization, favoring games that have simpler character creation. One might argue that D&D 5th edition has simple character creation, but I'm not using it here because it's simple in the wrong ways. Or rather, it swings the pendulum too far the other way. Second, players aren't managing characters individually, they're managing teams. Each player has a team name and manages four characters per team. Ostensibly one attacker, one defender, one support, and one controller. With an additional four of each type to act as substitutions if a character needs to be swapped out. Think of the MMO trinity of tank, healer, and DPS with one wild card thrown in. The GM, on the other hand, could make a handful, let's say ten for the purposes of this, characters to act as free agents that the players know about, with another ten acting as the draft pool, where the players only know the minimum amount of details. Third, each session can be considered the equivalent of a week in a sports schedule, with matches being determined on a round-robin format. A victory earning two victory points for the winner, and a draw earning one point for each. In the cases of games that have a leveling system, have it that the overall level is equal between teams, but as the weeks go by, the level steadily increases by one or two levels each week. Finally, each match would be resolved like an open skirmish, using the standard rules for that game. In this respect, points would be scored through KOs, each granting two points. When four KOs have been counted, that would be the end of a period, with a total of three periods in a single match, the most points at the end of the three periods being the winner. It's not a perfect scoring system, but I think it's simple enough to allow for a degree of reversals while still making each KO feel important. Continuing with that sport theme, I'd imagine that after ten or so weeks, a postseason is done based on the top half of winners. Single elimination is the most viable approach without getting too complicated, but a best of series could be done as well. At the end of this tournament, when a champion is crowned, this would be an ideal time to simulate a draft and trades, with the teams that didn't make the postseason getting first crack at drafts and or trades. Obviously, a concept like this would take a bit of work, but I'm presenting it in this manner as a foundation to be built upon instead of a final result. This is all to make a point. Like I said before, trying to turn D&D into an eSport is something that can only work when it's built with an understanding of why people follow sport and designing mechanics that fit that sport nature. What will not work is trying to force a round peg into a square hole. That'll just result in something that doesn't please either side, also known as the XFL. Stay frosty, everybody!